Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast. Sometimes it can be very handy to have a second user in your system. For software testing for example or if you are not the only person using your Lubuntu machine. It's very handy then to have a second user which has a different configuration than yours. To create a second user, just go to your menu, System Tools, Users and Groups. Here you have the ability to see your users that you have already created or that are uh, on your system. As you can see I have two users here. Let me just delete this user here by clicking Delete. I have to authenticate of course. And yeah, I want to delete this user with all its files. So to create a new user, you just press on add here and we will create this user that we deleted um, right here before again. And it was he was called test user, so uh, you can enter your first name and your last name, your family name here. As you can see, um, it will give you a suggestion uh, how to use the username for login. As you can see there are some limitations to this username just like lowercase letters from the English alphabet, digits, uh, any of the characters like a dot, a comma, a minus sign or underscore aren't allowed in this username. And you have some, you have a list basically of those suggestions that uh, this system gives you. As you can see, I will just go with the name user here. Click on OK. This will create my new user. What I need to do now is just set a password, uh, either by hand or by generating a random password, which is very handy if you want a very, very secure password that isn't cracked so easily. As you can see here, I have a generate button. I can click on generate and it will generate a random password for me but I want to use a very easy password here in this case because this is only a test account I want to test software with it and you normally only uh, also have the option to don't ask for the password on login this isn't working in Lubuntu because Lubuntu is using the LXDM login manager but if you install the GDM login manager with Synapti Synaptics you can just avoid uh, the asking for an password on login uh, and this uh, option will be available for you. So just click on OK and after you created your user you have some other options just like changing some uh, stuff here just like the username. You can change the account type which is basically yeah, a profile which allows you to set different privileges. If I click on change here, you can see that I'm um, my test user is a normal desktop user in this normal desktop user profile basically. I can perform common tasks, can't install software or change settings affecting all users. This is the desktop profile. But you have also an administrator profile which allows you to change anything on the system basically, just like installing software, configurating uh, stuff and uh, also change configurations globally so that they'll uh, affect uh, every user basically. So this administrator um, account type is basically the one that I'm using here when you create your main user basically. As you can see it's uh, now on custom as it has some other privileges as well here. Okay, you have some advanced settings as well, just like setting some contact information for your user, just like an office location, work phone number or home phone number. And you can set some user privileges as well. So some special privileges just like configuring printers. So you don't want um, your test user, for example, to install software, but you want him or her to install or configure printers. So you can enable configure printers here. And of course what I want to do is connect to wireless and Ethernet networks is one option that I want my test user to um, allow and as well as use the audio device to play back some audio files. 
So this is basically this. You have an advanced tab as well where you can set some advanced options just like the home directory. If you have a special template for your user, you can change the home directory here. If you want the user to be on an external drive, you can change the home directory here. And you can change the shell as well. As you can see, I have the dash, the bash, the r bash, the false, which will basically be no shell, and the sh, which I think, I believe, links to the dash in Lubuntu. You can set the main group, in this case as you can see it has chosen user as the main group, so the same name as uh, your username, and you can change the user ID. Groups is also a very nice keyword here. You have an option to manage groups here. Groups are basically, um, yeah, they are sets for privileges basically for some users. So if you click on manage groups you can see all groups installed on your system. You have an audio group this basically gives you the access to audio devices because some audio device files are tagged with the group label audio. So everyone in the audio group then has access to this audio device and this goes well with other files as well so if you have some special files, some special directories that you want to have um, all um, users have access to you can just set a new group and then just set an, yeah, an attribute for the, those files uh, that points to this group name and yeah, you have s the option, for example, to see the scanner group here, go into properties, and as you can see, I don't have uh, either my main user or my test user uh, in this group, so they can't configure any scanners or use any scanners. So this is basically the configuration of a new user. If I hit close here, and I will just log out, you will see that in my login manager I will have now the option to just log in as a second user with the username user. Uh, I have to enter a password but before I enter the password I will change the language I guess to German. So this is also very handy if you have a second user that uh, isn't a native English speaker you can change the language for the second user very easily without any problems. So in this case I will log in and as you will see then it will take a little while because it's copying uh, the template for a new user basically in your new home directory. And as you will see here when I open up the file manager for example all the entries here are now in German in the menu for example. Most of them. So this is basically everything for this screencast. I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.